Well, it looks like 3 for 3 might have messed up the playlist this week. A fan favorite armor set returns into Halo Infinite, and how one of Halo's original creators said that the TV show isn't exactly what he imagined. So if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So at the top of this video, I said that 343 looks like they kind of messed up the playlist this week because if you guys know that the last Spartan standing mode was part of the event and you can see right now that if you go to the battle pass, the event is no longer there right now, which makes sense. But the thing is that we don't have a last Spartan standing mode anymore in its own playlist. And we have quick play, like all bot magic, big team battles. We still have King of the Hill and all the other modes that you expect to have there, but no last spartan standing which was supposed to be its own mode now some of you might be going like oh it's part of the btb playlist like no you can look on the game list right here you got slayer total control stockpile ctf and various other modes but nothing under last spartan standing and community manager unishack over here replied to our good boy friend of the show ubernick and with ubernick saying that i'm pretty sure the last spartan standing will be on every btb map starting tomorrow as in you said this yesterday when the event is over unishack said yes but the problem is there is no last bar set any playlist. Now this could be a bug or something they forgot to update or something like that. But at the time of making this video, last bar standing is not playable in matchmaking. You can only find it in custom games. Of course, if this changes today or sometime this week, I'll make sure to update the pinned comment and also probably do a community post on the channel here as well. So make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with all that news. Of course, once I finish recording this video right here, guys, we have a news update about Last Spartan Standing, where Duquesne23, friend of the channel here, reaches out saying like, hey, aren't the beat, isn't there supposed to be a Last Spartan Standing match or something like that, playlist available for us to play? And Community Manager Unicheck replies back saying the team is looking into it. When it shows up, it will be its own playlist. So that's confirmed. Last Spartan Standing will be its own playlist for some reason. Not in the game right now. Again, like I said, I'll let you guys know either in the updated pinned comment or on a community post here on the channel. Now I said a fan favorite armor set is returning. That is the War Master armor set that we talked about previously on the channel. We saw that in the previews, but when you look at it, it's part of the shop. It would be, you know, uh, for 1200 credits, you get this setup right here which doesn't really look like, you know, the War Master set until you realize that's actually just a face cover that they have on the picture right there. And you go, okay, that's the familiar helmet, evil boy, evil boy looking helmet that we've all come to know and love. So if you guys rock that in Halo 4 and in Halo 5, this is now your chance. It also does come with a coating that they actually show this time within the shop. They also get a coating. You also get like the gas mask face cover, which does look kind of cool, not gonna lie. It also comes with a chest piece. Some shoulder pads right there on the left and right side of things right there. We also have a new glove for this, which does look kind of nice. I like it. It looks pretty cool. A new uh, wrist attachment, which I believe we only have like one, maybe two when it comes to these uh, attachments for the Mark 7 set. So that's pretty cool. And then you get just a bunch of emblems on top of that. So nothing too crazy there. I think I might hold off on buying it. I was never really too much into the War Master set. We also had the Bordovan Thunder right here, which is kind of like another like red and black themed kind of bits of customization. But you can kind of see, I don't know if it comes through on the video, that the red is very like rusty and kind of worn out kind of look to the whole thing, which does look kind of cool, but again, it's just more kind of like red and black stuff to pick up within the store. I know the combo of red and black is very popular amongst many uh, gamers out here, especially in, in Halo. I think that was actually probably the most popular like primary secondary color setup. I think I remember watching like a Ascent Hyperion video kind of breaking that whole thing down. You can see it kind of has like a dirty rustic look to it, which is kind of cool. So it has a bit of a different texturing to the whole thing, but I think it might kind of hold off on this. You also have the Crusher Enemies stance coming in for this week, guys. That has just like a cool kind of exaggerated sword stance. I don't think I really bother with it a whole lot. And the bundle for today alone, or if you guys want to check it out, is kind of like a redacted look to like a lot of like emblems and things like that for 200 credits. So that's like basically like a McChicken, you know? So if you're into that kind of stuff, more power to you. And for you grinders out there, the weekly ultimate is a vehicle coding right here. I believe this goes for the Warthog. My apologies, it's for the Razorback Warthog right here. But it's basically the same coding that we get within the battle pass for the Warthog, but this time you can get it for the weekly ultimate for the Razorback on top of that. Which great news here, we actually had a leak of what the weekly ultimate challenge is going to be. Once you complete all your weekly challenges, you get these this challenge right here that can actually unlock the coding the thing is says they earn cumulative player score in pvp matches up to 5,000 points so 
I love this type of challenge right here. This is not like a specific annoying kind of tedious challenge. Like you have to play tactical slayer like for 10 games or something like that. This is just play the game, you get rewarded. That's how really challenges should work and not be so tedious as they are right now. Because right now, it, a lot of the challenges I'm like, man, I really don't wanna have to go and do that. Like get 10 sword kills when like, when you're playing 4v4, right? There's only like, one or two maps that have the sword, and that's a chance of you getting the sword in the first place. So you, it can get quite annoying and tedious completing a lot of these little random challenges. But when you get things like just play the game, I can do that, you know, or like get cumulative score and like tactical slayer, that's fine too. But like, I like the ones where are just like, just jump in, play the game, you get rewarded. That's kind of like how I feel like these challenges should be. Right now, they're just a little too specific. I like to be a little bit more generalized to kind of get people just enjoying the game for what it is rather than like kind of suffering through these challenges at points. Like I know this was tied to like the uh, tactical ops event, but like tactical slayer dude, like during the tactical ops event, I had about my fill of tactical slayer in those two weeks than uh, compared to any other time I think I'm ever probably ever gonna not play SWAT anymore in Halo just because I burned myself out so hard trying to complete those challenges. But hopefully this is a step in the right direction that we'll see 343 move forward to a little bit more generous when it comes to people's play time rather than focusing them on specific things within the game. Obviously, I think they will always be there, give a purpose for those challenge swaps and stuff like that as well. Uh, but I think more just kind of like rewarding people for just playing the game rather than making them play the game a specific way is what people really don't like about the challenges themselves rather than just having to do challenges in the first place. I think that's totally fine because we kind of had the same system with an MCC, no complaints really. But a lot of the MCC challenges were much more about like just playing the game rather than making them play in a very specific way. Halo creator and former art designer at Bungie, Marcus Leto, who's currently working at EA for the Battlefield franchise franchise now uh replied to a bunch of people about the halo tv show thread that was kind of going on right here on twitter and basically this is what he said about the show saying yeah i'm not sure where the inspiration for the show comes from now not the halo i made which i'm like sheesh marcus you're kind of laying down the heat on the creators over here of the show like honestly like this kind of comes off at the heels of episode eight which i have yet to read do a, a review on i will do a review of this video of that show guys because uh we have episode eight that just happened and then we have this week is the last week of the halo tv show episode nine i'll definitely do a review of the entire series i can't give my complete thoughts and opinions of the show but i think if you guys have seen episode eight which i'll definitely go into depth when it comes to that video specifically about it I can understand why Marcus is feeling the way he was about the show. Like, yeah, there was definitely a lot of changes to it that would be, me as a Halo fan would have not done. But for the most part, I have enjoyed the show. But episode eight, there was just one huge leap in logic. And the choices the characters made within episode eight just didn't really make a whole lot of sense. You could really feel that like they had to probably cut a lot of content from the show to try to make the plot points that they wanted to hit happen. But they kind of had to like, Cut off a lot of the build up and plot building to get to those points what they did within the show at least for episode eight because actually for the most part honestly like episode eight is a very good episode there's just one huge part that's going to take over the entire dialogue of that episode again i don't want to spoil my uh final review of the show video but i can kind of understand where marcus leto is coming from saying it's not the halo that he made which is very true but of course the halo that we have right now isn't exactly the Halo that was made back in 2001 either. Well, from what I've heard for episode nine, I have not seen it yet, that the episode is probably the most Halo episode we'll have throughout the entire season, which is great to hear for the season finale of the whole thing. Now, do remember, we do have season two coming for the show as well. Obviously, we're at least a year away from that actually happening. But of course, once we get some more news about the Halo show, I'll guarantee I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I'm gonna link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there for you. Thank you so much for watching. Great, I appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.